I thought we lived in the same house. Same house, different words. Who's making? A long pedigree. Tracy, it's way all back to me. Mm -mm, not sure. I just know that it is a long one. I'm glad that you know. Ketcher, hmm? what became of you? No, Azari, what became of you? Ketcher, ever since you became porous to your mother's sentiments, life has become unbearable. You don't treat me right, you talk to me pejoratively. She is my mother. She cares what is best for me. Is it my problem that she thinks you're not? Ketcher, I fell in love with a man. Not an effeminate boy who is easily manipulated by his mother. Well, this effeminate boy no longer cares what you have to say. Jesus Christ. So, catch up. Where was your mother when you desperately came crying for me? Huh? And you were You forgot her when you used to send your friends, Uncle Karen, Kina David, Kina Ian, to come and deliver your love. Where was she? No. Look at me and tell me, where was, she? Where was your mother? When you were singing, she had not seen you yet. Selfish to her. That's who you are. Okay. Catch her. I was a near drunk beauty then. I was all you had. But now I am a skunk. Just because I am not useful anymore. Eh? So it was money in which value was enriched. You are going to regret this very soon. That is not it, Azawi. Mom says she needs a grandchild. And I'm culpable for not having one existing. Yes, it cannot be a son. Oh. So it can only be me, right? Yes. It is okay. I will soak in the bad one. Ketcha, I have a million times persuaded you to go to the hospital and get to the bottom of this matter. But what do you do? You let your view be you. Because I know myself. I have a son already. I said him in university and I've been supporting him until I lost my job. I thought I told you this before you got into whatever the hell that was. So you my friend, huh? You are barren. Mama Zero, that is what mom calls you. It is okay. It is not my wish to be Mama Zero. Even the whole world knows I wish that I could hold my own child like this. Kesha, do you know I stopped attending baby showers just because everyone will keep asking me when mine will be? But it's fine. There's only much that one can change. Now see what you brought to yourself. Have you just kept quiet and minded your own business? This will going to be happening. Anyway. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thanks for everything. Welcome. <laughs> Here comes your sleeper, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, who jettisoned this amount of gloom here? Ask your son. Ask her. Uh -huh, guys, what is going on? Tell me. So, Buzza, you see, your wife hates me. She says that the only difference between nothing and myself is the spelling. <laughs> but I cannot even carry out the fundamental task of a woman bearing children. Can you imagine she calls me Mama Zero? Hey. Did such obliterating sentiments fly out of our logo's mouth? I'm hurt. Ask your son. I already told you they did. Hey. So, Buza, please do something. My dear, my hands are tied. <laughs> 
You know I'm equally useless in this family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see how his mother treats me like the filthiest cesspool around. <laughs> My dear, I, I was only useful when I had something coming in. But now that I'm useless, in my own family. I'm only subject. God. God. I'm tired. I'm tired. I, I'm tired. I guess this is what men like us go through when we don't have a job. Very encouraging. My dear, do not worry. Do not worry because I will always give you human treatment, dignified kind of treatment. I mean, you are a human being, and that's, that's the least that anyone should offer you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the kindness that you show me, and I will continue to appreciate. You're always welcome, my dear. Okay? But one day, things will be all right. Things will change in this family. Wow. Even if they don't, I will always remember you. As you can see on my face, I am miffed. Miffed not because I could not go for happiness, but because happiness cannot just fit. You know, I did you guys a favor by allowing you to work for me. It was all in a bit to try and save your pathetic faces. Well, it seems redemption is not your portion. I mean, the kind of content you people are creating is bottom trap. Azam. Yes, boss. Okay. <laughs> You write a creative article with sadness from beginning to the end. And that is not enough. Huh? No, that is not enough. You have to finish by writing based on a true story. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think is going to read that? Answer me, who do you think is going to read that? No one, I'm sorry. I will work on it. Young girl, no one wants to read your sad stories. Am I clear? Am I clear? Yes, you are, of course. So, Buzo. So who's that? Wait, wait. I don't even have words for you. You shoot a creative video for public consumption on an infant. Surely. <laughs> an infant. <laughs> now, who do you think is going to stomach a full stream? Answer me, Sobuza. Who do you think is going to stomach a full stream? No one. And if there is no one, how are we going to generate revenue? No, teach me your ways. Do you have other ways? Do you? Speak up. No, I'm sorry. Friends, we have to get serious. We have to get very, very serious. And this is why I have headhunted two people. A lady and a gentleman. Send them in. Welcome. Thank you. Zila? Zilana? 
meet uh, Azawi, that is Ketchup, my son, and that is Sobuza. They all work for me. Now perhaps you two would like to say a few words before you call it a meeting. Hola, como estes? Me llamo Zila, a corporate communication expert with extensive experience in developing and implementing media strategies in line with the business objectives. I am a corporate uh, communication and management graduate from the Northern Kentucky University, as well as a certified communication interpreter, Spanish. I have also held <laughs> top management positions in global consultancies, uh, corporate, <laughs> having worked with yeah. top management companies like you know, the Perfect Relations, Archetype, and Fleshman Dillon, among others. I have also won numerous awards. Like the 2020 Ghana Communications Awards here yeah, as the best communication specialist advisor of the year. Uh, having said that, tienes la suerte de estar trabajando conmigo. Well, uh, if my Spanish serves me right, she says that. You are lucky to be working with her, right? <laughs> All right. I am Zilal, a communications expert, a journalist, a media savvy, a prodigy, actually, having graduated magna cum laude from Harvard University and spending my earlier years after school corresponding with the BBC, CNN, France 24, among others. I am the recipient of the richest Young Journalist Award 2019, 2020, and 2021. That's why Madame Nawalogu here uh, caught, uh, her eyes were caught with that. <laughs> yes. Uh, with that being said, I am hoping for a very wonderful professional relationship, and together, let us lift this company. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much for those very beautiful introductions. The rest of you, clap for them. Oh. <laughs> clap for them. Louder. Good. Now, for your own sake, please do not speak. Oh. Dismiss. I'll talk to you later. The rest of you, go make yourselves useful. Asante sana. 
Asante sana for everything. Thank you. The payment the refika on time. You're welcome. You're welcome, Masipe. But <coughs> that is not the payment I wanted to talk to you about. I I wanted us to discuss the other kind of payments. Which kind of payment? <laughs> yeah, come on. So, um, Masipe, I was thinking. Yes, you are thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that maybe you and. I... Yes, me and you, madam. You may find your Maggie Maku. I was thinking... Okay, here's the thing. I want you. Wait, wait, madam. <laughs> no, don't be like that. I, I want you to be mine. Hey. I knew it. <laughs> madam. Yes, you look it over. I knew it. If you wanted to talk to me, you should have talked to me directly. Stop going through the corners. Oh, ka job up, oh, ka nini drive, oh, mazipe, oh, nini. Kume, all you wanted to do is you wanted to bamba. You wanted to chill with the big boy. You can run, get the get the run, get the get the. Ugesema, <laughs> na jesi abavyo imeadiku wakatika maadiko, watasikia nyayo za miguza kuziki, tepea kutoka kwa dambi, zikiena mahali patakatifu, manake ajeda ya komanda, milionea bari both of us wives. <laughs> Umona kajutufu, katitebea kajutufu, yose ya mamuona. Mazipe, I'll double your salary. What you love helping people, getting people out of poverty. Unapeda kusaidia watu. Unona? So, Madam Kosinia yourself loved by the people. Okay, shut up and listen. So, this is how this is going to work. Listen to me. Number one, we have to be as discreet as possible. Discreet. Number two, whenever I call you, you will be booking us a hotel room in one very remote place in this town, okay? Remote places. Yes, I'll give you my card. Remind me later. Leave this, I'm a master. Whichever. That is, what, <laughs> that is what you'll be using to book the hotel room. Okay. My only condition is this. As long as nobody knows, your check keeps coming in. Lebisa. Madam, I have terms and conditions. Ata mini kona yago. Mwaja tu. Madam. Unajua, kuna sector bills taki jwe maneno. Two sectors, they should not find out what we are having. No, no, sector ya kwaza, neka nina. Ni tabaria wapi jirepa yaku. If the church knows, where will I wear my turban? Ni tabaria wapi kwaya, where will I sing kwaya? Ni taipa kwaya wapi. No, no, ya piri mada, warawe wajoroge, aki bibi yaku na mpeda, my family. Wakijua, nitaficha usahagu wapi. Usahagu nitaficha wapi. I understand that, Mazibe. And I am glad that we are on the same page. Same page, madam. Effective immediately? Effective immediately. <laughs> madam, your subscription to the big boy, Mazibe. Uh, <laughs> I'll talk to you. Okay, okay. Reta, sinimesmarize. <laughs>